Hey, good people. Welcome back to Janet Global. And thank you so much for joining me. So today we are back to Light Convos. And today it's going to be about story time. Uh, it's all about the um, um, a certain series that I've been watching. Uh, it's called uh, Queen Charlotte, the Bridgerton story. I really like watching documentaries of the royal family. I like following up their stories for some reason. I just like um, watching their documentaries and stories and um, getting to know more about culture, the diverse culture. So the biggest question that has have stood up according to that um, Queen, Queen Charlotte story is if she was the first black queen. So let's see. Let's get right into it. Born Sophia Charlotte on 19th May 1744, she was the youngest daughter of Duke Charles Louis Frederick and Princess Elizabeth Albertina in Germany. When King George III of Britain succeeded to the throne in 1760, he was 22 and unmarried, and the 17-year-old Princess Charlotte was an obvious choice for a wife. The date was set for their wedding, and on 8 September 1761, they got married at the Chapel Royal, St. James Palace. Their coronation took place on 22nd September that year. On September 1762, the Queen gave birth to their first child, the Prince of Wales, who would later become King George V. In the course of their marriage, the couple became parents of 15 children. A number of orphanages were founded by Queen Charlotte. According to the Guardian article, Queen Charlotte was kept unaware when King George III suffered his first, although temporary, bout of mental illness in 1765. However, the Regency Bill of 1765 stated that if the king should become permanently unable to rule, Charlotte will become regent. After the onset of King George III permanent madness in 1811, the Prince of Wales became regent. But Queen Charlotte remained her husband's guardian until her death in 1818, seven years later. The Queen passed on in the presence of her eldest son, the Prince Regent, at Dutch House, now Kew Palace, on 17th November. 1818 at the age of 74 and was buried at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle. Many places around the world have been named after Queen Charlotte. People are still arguing whether, whether she had black roots or not. But whether she had black roots or not, the fact still remains Queen Charlotte was a great and strong Queen. That's the short history of Queen Charlotte. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share. Let's meet in the next video. Bye bye.